A counter is a very helpful tool when you have a process that takes a long time to run. I simulated that situation by putting in column A a series of letters from between A and Z and I did that 100,000 times. So in order to do that it has to run and I want to keep track of the progress in the, what they call the status bar. When it's done it says 100% has been done and it keeps track of the progress. I, I made a shortcut for this uh, Visual Basic code and I did Control C. So when I do Control Shift C you will see that it fills column A kind of quickly but at the bottom in the status bar it will keep track of the progress. Control Shift C how many cells do you want? Let's say by default 100,000 and notice here that it keeps tracking all the situation. How did we do that in Visual Basic? Alt F11. In a module I created a subroutine that I happen to call counting. I declared variables. One is an array variable and you do that by putting inside parentheses how many elements you want in there. Then I use the st status bar setting of the application and I empty it from the previous settings. I set the cursor to an Excel weight cursor. Then I fill the array with 26 elements running from i equals 0 to 25 and I put in there the character based on the number i plus 65 because character 65 is the capital A and character 90 is the capital Z. Then we ask how many cells do you want to fill? Let's say by default 100,000. Then we select cells 1, 1, that is cell A1 basically, row 1, column 1. Why? Because the status bar is always attached to a cell. Then we run 1 to i max, which is in this case 100,000. And if the modulo function, the modulo function takes the remainder of a division, if the remainder of the division is 0, or whatever you decide to use as an interval, then we put in the status bar how much have we reached so far? We format that percentage as i divided by i max, comma, zero decimals, and then we add to it space and percent space. The literal text has been done. Then we do a calculation in the application, and then we put in all those 100,000 cells running from row 1 to 100,000, the value of, from the array, we take the, the random number between 0 and 1 times 25 and it will put that in. Then we just do a little bit, then we do a little bit of cosmetic work. We activate cells 1, 1 again. We set the application cursor back to Excel default. That's basically all it does. So when we go here and we do Control Shift C in this case, it runs that process after you say how many cells you want to do. If, if you do a million, it will take a little longer of course, and then the counter will run much slower.